All right, so back to where we started. Do you guys remember why we started on this whole journey? Was because we had a test that was failing on this is at method. And so we had three possible options, right? The identifier was wrong, the method wasn't working, or it was something else. We identified that it wasn't the identifier because it was working correctly in Firebug. Now we just proved that it wasn't the method as well, this method, because we wrote unit tests for it. Well, we wrote unit tests for this method, but this is the really the one that checks whether the element is displayed or not. The other one is just like a little looper that does a loop to make sure and counts and weights and so on, this guy. So that's what we just validated. We spent all that time writing those unit tests because it was the perfect time to prove to ourselves that the code works as expected. And now option number three is that it must be some other thing that we did not see. So let's go ahead and run up to here and see what happens. So I'm gonna go back to our test. I'm gonna come in here, do debug tests. So it's logged in. And so one thing to notice here, which I obviously missed for a very long time, is that we have switched tabs. Remember we were at tab one, this worked, and then we switched to tab two. And Selenium did not switch its focus to tab two. And I believe that that is the root cause of this entire issue, is that this switching to the tab did not change the focus to this tab here. And so we're looking for this element over here on a this tab right here. And of course it doesn't exist because the element is not there on this tab. It's on this edit profile tab. So what we need to do is add a switch tabs method, which we can do so right now and then test our theory. So let me stop. And then, so right, so in this is add method, we need a browser dot switch tab, switch tabs. And then we probably want the option to be able to pass in which tab we want to switch to. So if it's tab zero or tab one, I like to start at zero because most things in the world start at zero, all collections. So I'm going to start this called tab zero and tab one, okay? So why don't I just put in a zero, in, I'm sorry, a one in here, and then give this a semicolon. And of course, the compiler complains that you don't have a switch tabs method. So let's go ahead and do a control dot and generate that method. And so now we have that method, all we have to do is F12 over to it, and see how it's still not implemented. So if we were to run this method, it would throw new not implemented exception to let us know, hey, this method is not implemented. And it's very easy to implement it because the web driver class has an inbuilt method to switch tabs. So switch to, there's a window, and then we need to know string window name. So how do we get the window names? Well, let me show you guys how to do that. And we can do, windows again using the web driver class it has window handles property that we can use to get all of the window handles so let me put a colon here comment this out and so now this will allow us to get all the windows actually i don't need to comment it out it's going to get us all the windows and we can decide which window we want to put it in it's going to be a collection and so we're going to want to put in here this tab variable that we put in. I'm going to call it a tab index. And so then put that in here, tab index. And now we should be done. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here to make sure that this works okay. And then I'll show you guys what happens when we run this code. So let's save it. 